There. That's it. That's him. Good evening, folks. Or good morning. Good afternoon. Ben Venu, how you doing? You know who it is. You know what I do. So let me get on my bullshit, and I'm definitely back in the building. So let's roll. Today we're going to talk about the Boston bombing. But I'm not going to talk about the bombing per se. I'm going to talk about stuff like how they're going to talk about this is all radical Islamism and how they're going to paint everybody who's Islamic as an extremist. And let me point this out. First and foremost, so everybody who is Islamic is an extremist. I want to point that out. Now, you got a lot of ignorant motherfuckers on your Facebook, on your Twitters, on your YouTubes. They want to paint pictures like that. But everybody knows there's people of all religions that are, are docile or extremists or moderate. Now, the thing that gets me is, is just the media, how media will distort this as they show, they'll show like 20, it's like, it's like back in the civil rights days. And, well, I don't know how I don't put this. It's like back in the Hitler days, when the German media back in World War II. They would show you all the bad things, or try to show you bad things about Jewish people. But at the same time, they would never show you that the hard-working people were the ones who were really productive members of society. It's kind of, that's how I view the American media nowadays. They're like the, they're like the Nazis during World War II. They're going to put like 10 billion things, they, or they may put like 10 billion bad things about somebody. But to put this one good thing about you, and you're supposed to be like, I mean, come on, it doesn't balance out. Now, I'm going to address people who say this. There's people who, and like, some of them are my Facebook friends. And some of them are going to get deleted because your true colors are showing. I always knew this is how you felt. But I thought that we'd grown up, and I thought when you moved to Facebook, I thought things would change. You would start to kind of see the light. But I guess we haven't advanced too much, and I will delete your fucking ass. And if you got a problem with it, it's your problem. But uh, here's what I want to talk about. Uh, you'll see a lot of these in other religions talk about how Islamics is, is extremist, this, that, and the fifth. Now, let me go in on you Catholics. I know you're shaking in your fucking boots right now because you know what I want to talk about. What kills me is when I hear a Catholic crying and whining about how all these Islamic terrorists and all Islamist terrorism, Catholic priests in the Vatican, and for that matter, Boy Scouts, the headmasters, have been fucking little boys for centuries. You guys know this. You guys know this is a problem. You guys know this is this is this is real. What I'm saying is like back, I'm backed up with the own Vatican's own facts. They've been fucking little boys for centuries, but all of a sudden, you know, when there's a, like something like this happens, all they're all terrorists. What's the difference? To a lot of you people, it's deeper than religion. Religion is a code word for some of you. Like there are white Islamics, there's blacks, Asians, Hispanics. That's like there's white Catholic, black, black, excuse me, black Catholics, Asian Catholic, Hispanic Catholics. But at the end of the day, a lot of you want to use that code word, but not thinking about there's more than one race in your like religion. Me personally, I don't paint with a broad brush. I mean, I know a lot of you, you a lot of you people do. But that's because a lot of you people have never been anywhere. I, I'm coming to find that out. A lot, and I, I hate to say this, a lot of my quote-unquote Facebook friends have never been anywhere. Like, a lot of them are just plain ignorant, and that's what kills me. A lot of you believe that Obama is Islamic. Well, see, that's why, in, in Obama's case, Obama's never going to win with a lot, a lot of you people. I don't give a fuck. Like, me personally, I know he's just a politician, and I don't, that's how I deal with him. He's no different to me than Bush, Clinton, Reagan. But a lot of you people don't look at him, he's your president. A lot of you look at him, he's just another black Islamic dude. Number one, he's not Islamic, and number two, he's half black, but in this country, he's black. So, we'll go with that. I'm just, I'm just tired of seeing this. Like, it's kind of disgusting when you think it's people that you like. I kind of knew that, like, as far as Facebook was, I kind of knew that some of these people were like that. But I thought, you know, we all grown up this, that, and the fifth. It's kind of like they're cool with me because they know me, but others who look like me, it's a it's a problem. You know what I mean? That's how it is, and that's how it is. Like where I live back, like when I moved from. The, from New York to Pennsylvania, from the part of Pennsylvania I moved to, outside of Pittsburgh. That's how these people are. These people have so uh, I'm not gonna say all, all of them do, but a majority have them. I'm gonna say a majority because I, I can I can back this up. A majority have that in the back of their mind. They won't say this. It's like the hypocrisy you see out there. It's like it's like this. They're the same ones that like may say on other religions, but at the same time, their religion is doing some fucked up shit. But they kind of endorse it because. What's going on with the program? It's kind of like this. You want to talk about Islamic extremists, but at the same time, you ain't saying nothing about gay marriages. I mean, it's just like you want your cake and eat it too. It's like you know, that's why I call all you fucking clowns because I really believe you guys are fucking clowns. So, I'm out. I still don't have to say peace.
There. That's it. That's him. 